Hey heroes, Jonathan here at Night Knowledge. Welcome to episode 2 of my Celasta Crown of the Magister Lost Valley DLC playthrough. Uh, in the last episode, we spent all the time just creating our characters. Just a recap, we have Kinson, our ranger. We have Hunter, our fighter. We have Anibis, our cleric, and uh, Ginger, our sorcerer. Let's just jump right into the game so we can see what this is all about. This will be a blind playthrough. I've never played it. Uh, it just came out just like uh, about a, probably by time you see this probably a week ago. So just just wanted to give you guys an idea. I'm hoping that this is a more, they say it's a non-linear um, DLC campaign versus the main base campaign that came out last year, which was more very linear. It's just like you just follow the story. There's very little surprises or choice in, in, in where you go. Okay, so we'll start the game. While the Principality of Mascarth is preparing for war, business is thriving in the marches. As more legacy council agents travel to Copperan, Gala Golden Tongue's route expands and his profits increase. The master merchant hired adventurers to escort his caravan. Okay, and I guess we're those adventurers. One day, at one of Galagar's usual camping spots near Copperan, a group of wounded travelers seek hospitality, bringing the promise of, of adventure to our hero's routine journey. Does this happen often? Wounded strangers setting up camp near a caravan? Oh yes, these sites are well known to all who travel in the marches. Sadly, they're not here for shopping. Do you know them? Well, the lady is from the Legacy Council, and Kerr Kiflin. The man here is Lord Ammond, also from the capital. I spoke with her half-elf briefly. Her name is Lavering Catpaw. They're looking for someone. Apparently, they were ten strong. Then they met a bunch of orcs. I'm sure the lady can tell you more. Why don't you do it? It's a strategy. You'll see. Okay, you're the boss. God, that tattoo that is, is very us. Uh, you know. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk to uh, Lady Fairblade right here. Clear skies, my lady. What do you want? Just introducing ourselves. I'm Helia Fairblade. Senior Deputy of the Legacy Council. Do you need equipment? Master Galar has everything you need. Do you think we came here empty-handed? Ooh, no. 21 success. Kinson succeeds. Okay, let's see. 65%. Come on. That's, that's a high persuasion. No, but you might miss one or two things that are going to make a difference. Come on. Oh, your persuasions suck. We're good, thank you. Anything else? Who's the man you're looking for? His name is Merin Ving. He was presumed to be dead. But recently, Copperan opened a diplomatic channel with Kerr Kifling. We heard that Ving was here recently, buying food rations from Master Golden Tongue. Who is he? I'm not at liberty to say more. My apologies. Hmm, <laughs> be like that. Let's uh, use my spy intuition. Let's see. Yep. This search party isn't looking for a friend to save, right? He carried documents that the council values. What if we were to find them? Then you'd be rewarded. Anything <laughs> else? No, we should go. Okay, we got some experience for that. Let's see, let's talk to the nobleman, which is right over here. Before we do that, though, let's take a quick look at our character's inventory. Let's see, so I got that equipped already. I got my light source, I got my longbow, okay. And I got my arrows, which is fine. We can craft in this game. Crafting is an interesting thing, uh, which we'll just which we'll talk about when 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 we need to. So here's uh Hunter with his chainmail. Uh he's got his long sword and a light crossbow doing 1d8 damage. Okay. And then we have Anibis, also a very, another strong warrior. Uh, let's, does she have a light crossbow as well? Yeah, she does. And then 
Anything special? Oh, she has a book. Crafting Manual Scroll of Cure Wounds. So that is a... Is that a scroll of... Manual... Crafting Manual Scroll. Well, let's read it. So now we know... So to learn new recipes, you need to find these recipe books, which I believe the whole team will then uh, know. So here, so it was an actual scroll. Uh, we need someone that is proficient with, that has a scroll kit, and also we're gonna need Arcana proficiency to be able to do it. Which I think uh, Ginger might, yeah, she has the Arcana, but we still don't have a scroll kit, which we can get very easily. Let's just take a look at Ginger's. So she should be able to cast. I'm gonna double check that. Nah, she should be able to. Okay, let's uh, jump right into this. Hey there. What is it? Anything you need from the store? I'm not here to shop. <laughs> then what are you here for? Looking for this damn Marin Ving. He was here. You may have seen him. We knew so, probably not. Well, he's a ruffian, and he has a debt of honor. Very well. We will find him. Never fear. I have no doubt. Stay in the light. Okay, let's see. Ah, you're here. Master Golden Tongue tells me you're good people. As you've heard, my expedition is short-handed. Lost six, we heard. Unfortunate. If you join my search party, I'd pay well. Five gold pieces a day, each. <laughs> wow. Twenty-five up front. Okay. I need Marin Ving found, and we know he was here. It was a while ago, but if we're careful, we can pick up his tracks. Oh, maybe we should get equ equipment instead of gold? Uh, let's see. Ginger, let's see if we can get 30 up front. Let's settle for 35 gold pieces right now. Come on! Yeah! Good job. I see Galar taught you well. Fine. 35. Thanks. I move the barrier. I believe this is a good place to start. Stay in the light. Okay, so we have to explore the area. Uh, let's see. Do we need to talk to Mr. Sunsail? You know what? Let's just take a look at the general store quickly. Let's see if this guy has anything to, to buy. Let's see. So he does have stuff. Let's see. Um, probably don't need to buy anything per se. I just want to take a look. Heavy crossbows, 1d8. 20 versus 80. 20, 10, 20 versus 80. Close range, 20 versus 80. Okay, so obviously better range, more damage. How about the longbow? Longbow is 30 and 120, so way more. And damage, that's the same damage of a light crossbow. Okay, so the heavy, that's, that's the main difference. Okay, I just wanted to see that. We don't really need to buy anything, so let's go. Let's go, there's nothing here. Uh, is this where we want to go? No, it looks like we want to go down this... Uh, crevice right here. Let's go. Okay. A bunch of footprints. More than just one man. Let's go let's interact with this. What do we have here? We found some Dwarven Primrose, a delicate flower uh, mostly found in northern climes growing on bare rock. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to give it to... I need to make sure that my uh, inventory is well managed because uh, after a while we'll need to do that. So I think I'll have Anibis uh, loot that. Okay, so let's go. I can put us into cautious mode. As you can see, when you put in cautious mode, you're sneaking and you can also see sea traps easily. But the problem is we walk slow. Obviously, because you're sneaking. There's more stuff. I'm going to turn off cautious mode for now. We're going to interact with that quickly. That's uh, Angry Violets, I think. Yeah, Angry Bush. Can I put it just like that? There we go. That's much better. Okay. So let's see. What is happening here? Oh, oh. 
Yeah, I should have been cautious. Let's see. Okay, so there's something here. Can we disarm it? I don't know if we can disarm it. Okay. Can we push? Oh, we can. Oh, what's here? Hmm. What's over here, though? I don't see any. Oh, there is something right there. You can barely see it. Okay, so we got a small smith's tools. I'll give that to Hunter. We got some projectile parts, which I'll take since I'm the ranger. I'll take more ammunition. And we got a shield, uh, I think. Both Hunter. Let's see. You have a normal shield plus two to AC. Um, and so does Anibis. So we're totally cool that way. Okay. So, yeah, there's nothing else. Okay, so that's why we did that. Let's see. wonder what's special about that. Yeah, let's see. Won't let it fall on us. This is all falling apart. Let's take a souvenir. Oh, so we got an antiquity. Uh, let's see this antiquity. This is a piece of marble of Tamarian origin, as the damaged writings prove. Let's reorder stuff. Okay. Let's do some quick saving and let's go. Are we go inside, please. There we go. Okay, so we're inside the cave now. I think, let's see, is it unlit or dark? Unlit. So all of my guys have dark vision, so we should be okay. Uh, let's do cautious anyways, just to double check. What's your step? Let's see, what's special about this? This looks familiar. Hmm. Okay, sure. Where are we going to go now? <laughs> Which way do you think? So here's a stalactite, uh, staglomite or whatever. What's that over there? Well, let's check it out. <laughs> Ginger is being smart, just walking around it. Okay, and I guess let's take a look at what this is. This was a acid puddle. Oh, interesting. I'll uh, I'll take it too. Anything over here? Looks like there's something over there. Anything over on this side? There's stuff over there too. Okay, let's take a look. I have a feeling we're gonna come across some baddies soon. Hmm. Kind of odd we haven't come across one bad guy yet. Okay, so we got some goblin hair fungus. Give it to Anibis. Okay, let's keep going. Don't see any footprints anywhere, though. Looks American, but not. Okay. You know what? Oh wait, that's the thing we need to open, apparently. We found a green book and a scroll of fairy fire. I'm going to give the scrolls to... A Ginger, and I'll read the book. Look at this. Someone built a fire here. That someone wanted to rest here, but had to leave in a hurry. Hmm. <laughs> you hear that? Ah, yeah, Did you obviously. hear that? <laughs> okay, here's our fighting. Oh, and the bear was right behind us somehow. I don't know how the bear got behind us. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's start off our fighting. Um, there's no flanking. So let's see, do I need a power? Second wind, no, we're not gonna use that. So I'm gonna move right next to Ginger. And I am going to attack. Oh, Hunter, that's a bad first, or bad beginning. Let's see, uh, Nebus, let's see. Can you cast any spells? You can't cast any spells because we need a free hand to cast. Oh, that kind of sucks. Um, let's see. But you know what? We are going to... Come on. There you go. There's a nice hit. Oh, that brown bear has a lot of health, though. Okay. And uh, I am going to... Should I use a spear, too? Nah. Because I don't think... Let me just take a look at the inventory. The spear is a... 
melee versatile piercing, but um, it's not a finesse weapon, so it'll be based on my attack. Uh, the chance of hitting will be based off my attack skill, which is plus two versus plus five. So we're gonna switch to our bow. We are going to uh, move back. And I'm gonna shoot this guy. There we go, nice hit. Ooh, there's a good hit. Now I'm gonna end my turn. Uh oh. Oh, good. Uh oh, here's another attack. Good, missed as well. And now Ginger, she can cast a spell, although I think she's, it's going to trigger a, 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 an, oppor an a, attack of opportunity, but let's give it a try. Ooh, you're shocked. Yep, that's right. Uh, done. Okay, Hunter, redeem yourself. No, something's wrong. What's wrong with you? Nothing should be wrong. You have high strength. It's based off your longsword. It's just unlucky. Let me just double check. Hunter, 2 plus an 8. Plus 8. Yeah, I don't know. Just unlucky today. Okay, and you're done. And then me again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Plus 9 is my... I don't know how I'm getting plus 9, but... So as you can see, when you defeat things, you get, there's a bestiary. So based, there will be a survival survival score, and the more you kill something, you'll learn more about them. So you learn about their AC, their hit points, how much they move, what their strength and attributes are, what their immunities are, and all that kind of stuff. So I, I really like that. Okay, so we killed that. We got the book. Let's uh, read that book first. Oh no, I can't read it. It's just a book. We don't read stuff. But it looks like the bear dropped something. The bear dropped a brown bear pelt. It's an ingredient for crafting. Okay, so I'm gonna let uh, who's who's gonna who's gonna hold on to that kind of stuff. I'll let um, Hunter. No, Hunter's gonna hold all the heavy stuff. I'll let Ginger hold on to the the bear pelt because she'll also be our enchanter. Oh wait, you know what? You're telling me there's nothing in that corner right here. Cautious. You're telling me there's nothing here. No? Really? Okay. 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 And you're going to tell me there's nothing right here either. There's nothing in this spot. Okay. Fine. Let's go. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Okay. Let's go. Okay, now we'll just run back. I wonder if we can even do this. Look, see, one of the cool things I like, let me just click this way. Let me click and just quick run that way. So let's see, report your findings to who? I guess to Helia Fairblade. So, what do you have for me? We found an abandoned camp and this. This belongs to Marin Ving. Excellent work. Your reward, as promised. Rest now. We'll search the area carefully in the morning. We need to know where he went. Team up with my people if you like. We'll keep that in mind. Stay in the light. Okay, great. We leveled up. Uh, before we do that... Before we do that, I'm going to talk with this guy since he has a quest. Crim Sunsail. Clear skies. Ah, there. Name's Crim Sunsail. You're working for the merchant. Escort? Yes. The marches are a good place to gain some experience or to get killed. <laughs> well, you're here. Sure. There's money to be made. A debt to collect from this guy, Ving. What if he's dead? We'll see. Yeah, more insight. Dialogue success odds are revealed. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Come on, 60%. Well, Galar has some good stuff. Want to check? Come on. 18. Yeah, that's a good success. Sure, why not? Thank you. Yep. 
So maybe we're going to get more money for from him doing that. Uh, looks like he still has stuff to do, so let's see. Hey, I heard you killed a bear in there. You wouldn't happen to have its pelt with you. Why? I got this crafting project. Boots. I need a brown bear's pelt. How much do How you much pay? How much would you pay for it? The usual, I guess. 20 gold pieces. Or I can show you how to craft something. Um, let's go for the recipe. The pelt for the recipe. We'll take the recipe. Works for me. Okay, we got the boots of the Winterlands option. Okay. Nice, nice. Let's take a look at what we learned. Uh, crafting. So, we need a Manacal and Rosary to do that. Which I think Ginger has. Nope. No one has it. So uh, this boots, uh, Lestoreth Steel Arm created these boots to accompany the Iron Legion on a march through the frozen north. We would need a brown bear pelt, which we gave away, minor shard of ice, an emerald. Okay, it's hard to make apparently. And uh, we get resistance to cold. Damage is halved. Okay, okay. And then it becomes attuned to you. So I imagine, I'm not the most familiar with D&D &D rules, but I believe attunement means it's bound is bound to that character and, and no one else can use it. Okay, cool, cool. That is very cool. Uh, let's see, I don't think we're gonna talk to anyone else. Let's talk to Galar just in case. Say, hey, we sent the guy over. No, okay. Let's see, I think I'm gonna sell some stuff. I'm gonna sell this and let's see, what's my... You know, I think I want to sell the spear. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to be using, you, I could throw it, but I don't think throwing it, I think throwing it will still base off my strength. So we'll do that. And it's not worth anything. It's not worth enough. Okay. Well, let's go to here and let's uh, level up. There's no tutorial in this game, apparently. Uh, let's see. Start a long rest. So when you... Go interact with the campfire. We will be resting, which restores health. You can, um, uh, I think, adjust your spells and uh, there'll be other things we'll be able to do. Okay, so we were at full health already. Let's level our, our guys up quickly. So my I'm a level two ranger now. We got eight hit points from that. I unlocked a fighting style and ranger spell casting. I can click on here to see what the future holds in store for me. Well, I'm not going to do that. Okay, fighting style. Oh, I thought there was a different... Oh, there's something special that's coming up. So I'm not going two-hand weapon, that, although that would be cool. I'm not doing dueling. I'm not doing defense. I think I'm just going to go archery so I can archer the heck out of people. So we'll do that. And I got two class spells. Um, hmm... Probably Animal Friendship, which is based off what? A Wisdom Saving Throw. And, I, oh, I actually wonder if I should take this for, like, Jump. Oh, but then I can I, I can Cure as well. Hmm. But I'd have to be in touch range to do it. And we have a Cleric. I don't know. I don't know. It makes sense, Animal Friendship. But do I want to be able to heal? Uh, let's see. It's very little. Actually, it's not bad healing. Plus ability bonus. I don't know. My ability wisdom is plus four. But jumping might be useful in the future. Let's do that. Cure wounds and jump. We're going to need those. Okay, level up. Hunter time. Hunter leveled up with 11 points. He gets action surge. Regain a main action immediately, which is really good. A super simple level for him. Aniba is time to level up. Uh, she gained nine hit points, one additional hit die. Hmm. Okay, we get channel divinity, turn on dead, preserve life, restore hit points to one or more allies within six cells up to half their hit point. Okay, cool. And let's prepare spells for her. Uh, let's see, so five spells. I think we're good already. I'm not too sure about Bane. Bane is actually pretty good. Healing word. Uh, heal an ally that you can see. 
So it's a, it's a close range heal for 1d4 one one D plus ability bonus versus... Oh, that's... Oh, and she already knows Cure Wounds automatically, which is a touch-based, stronger healing. We got... Uh, she also knows Bless. And I think that's good. Shield of Faith. That's, that's fine. I'm fine with that. And let's level Ginger up. Seven hit points gained. Sorcery points. Okay, and flexible casting. Allows the conversion of spell slots. Yeah. Okay. So we can unlearn one spell to learn a new spell. Or to, to learn two class spells. I think we're okay. So we'll ignore. And then we get one new class spell. So I think we have sleep. We have burning hands. We have inflict wounds. So we have a melee, a cone, and a sleep. I wonder if we should do anything else. Um, I wonder if we need charm. Charm might be interesting if we if we get overwhelmed with enemies. Hmm. Let's see. I cannot attack those on the outside. Creatures inside cannot attack those. So this is good if we're we're going against archers. We can we can throw this on the archers. Ah. Uh, uh, what are we going to do? Comprehend languages. Mm. Pushes creatures and objects away. I'm going to try this. Thunder. So maybe we can push people to their deaths type of thing. Okay. All NPCs can die. Some of them can join your party for a time. You can only hire one member of Helia Fairblade's company, even if you've unlocked more. Okay. Cool. I'm good. So we've rested, I imagine. And now we get to add someone. Either this guy, Sun Sail, or uh, Lord Hammond. I imagine I'm, this is going to be the rogue that I want. Let's see. Sure, let's do this. No, 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 I didn't. Oh, I didn't mean to, like, just automatically pick him. Oh, well. Okay. Uh, so where are we going now? careful exploration. It's not really telling me where to go. Let's take a look at the journal of what we need to do. So, return to the grotto and find out what happened to Marvin Ving. He, uh, Marin Ving. Hire some of ladies. People use cautious mode to make hidden objects easier to spot. Oh. Okay. So I guess let's go then. Back, back to that spot. Back to the grotto. Okay. No problem. I bet there's gonna be people, to, more people to fight more than just a bear. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. You know, my guy, I'm gonna start off with the light, and uh, so will Ginger. How about that? Light is always welcome. Okay, there we go. So let's select the whole team and let's go in. We don't need it because we all have dark vision, but well, I figured it might be useful. Let's go over here. I imagine something to do with over there. Or you know what? That that part that looked like it was um, an empty spot. I bet there's something there now. Anything? Mm, nope. Oh, yep. Yeah, there's footsteps. Aha! I'm not going crazy. Okay, there we go. I wonder if I've missed anything behind me. Oh well. More for Prince. Okay, anything I'm missing? More tracks spotted. Okay, everyone, let's jump across. Right, we can't go any lower. We can't go back. Uh, okay. Oh, so sparkly in here. What's this? There's all sorts of bubbles. Wonder what that is. That 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 looks. That sounds oozy to me. You know what? Let's uh, light some lights. Oh, only one person's gonna light at the time. Uh, Ginger, can you light this, please? There we go. 
Let's see, team, let's move. There's nothing on this side, right? Not, oh, there's a bad guy over there, a zealot. What? It's a large beetle. Ooh. Okay. Let's keep moving. We probably want to light all these up. So I'm going to light this one. And I'm going to have Ginger light this one. Come on, light it a little slower. And Ginger, let's light that one up. I think that's just two people now. I don't know why we're lighting all these up. Mm. Okay, full team, let's move. Oh, here's some beetles. Wait, redeemers? We don't stand a chance. Maybe we can find a way around and return to the camp. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh, let's move this way. Oh, okay, we're okay. Okay, so we have to find another way around. There's a pilgrim. So let's escape the nest somehow. Wonder what that is. Okay, so uh, let's use my guy. Let's step on this, what seems to be a trap. No? Two? Can you step on there too? Nope, that doesn't do Oh, never mind. That did do something. I wonder what this does. Ha, <laughs> history failure. Who has high history on my team? Proficiencies, uh, history, <laughs> minus one. One, four, okay, so let's see if maybe, um, okay, let's put you here and we'll, oh, Anubis, oh, damn it, okay. So we obviously don't want to go that way. Team, let's move out this way. Oh no, oh no, you're being spotted. You're being spotted, get out. I think it's the light, the light that I'm giving off. Okay, anyways, uh, more lights over there, doesn't matter. I think, is there anyone that can get over here? Mission accomplished. Ooh, nature, nice. Oh, uh, that was. We just get experience for reviewing the bones. Okay. Fine with that. Let's see. Anything over here? Doesn't look like there's anything over here. see what this is. Why do you want me to push this? Oh, so that we can jump across. Okay. Okay, so we got a honored stone, which does what? Here, the, <coughs> excuse me, the second Imperial Legion built its first permanent fortification on the border between the Air Ally and the Inner Provinces. Captain Kadoran Stone Soul and his company of Imperial Engineers erected the fortress in record time with the assistance of the Arcanium. Built in the year 3450, oh, I can't read, 345 of the Mana Kalan Empire. Okay, whatever. We'll take it and we'll take some money. Doesn't look like there's anything behind us. And we avoided a fight, which is good, I guess. I don't see anything to, to loot. So time to get across. I imagine we'll have to fight eventually. We're okay though right now. Mm, let's turn on one of the lights here. Something over up ahead. Okay, let's jump across. Oh, here's a door. 
but there's something here. Probably have to open that to uh, open the door. Look at this! Oh, okay, good. We succeeded. And it doesn't tell us what it does, though. It just we succeeded at some sort of arcana check. Okay, I'll take it. I imagine we're gonna fight soon. This looks like a fight room. Hmm, there's a ghoul and a door. Let's uh, turn on the light here, I guess. Let's see, there's only something over there. So you know what, let's go to the door here. Let's see what's over here. Cannot be opened. Fantastic. Okay. Well, time to fight. I think, though. Okay, so let's switch to my guy. I'm going to switch to my longbow. And Ginger will switch to her quarterstaff. I don't think it matters. She should be able to cast spells, right? Yeah, she can cast spells. Okay. So let's uh, get the team up forward. Oh, there. Uh, let's see. Attack. Um, hello? Oh no. Damn it. I was paused, that's why. Okay. Oh, look at the initiative of initiative of one. Oh, look at the crit. Beautiful. And I succeeded in stealth, so I'm so I'm still gonna be stealthy. Oh look, there's an upper area up here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go up there. Can I speed up time? No. Okay, and I'm gonna end my turn. And then, um, hmm. I'm going to move uh, Anibis forward just a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a uh, a ready action, and I'm gonna do I'm gonna queue up basically turning myself to overwatch for melee. Ginger, your turn. Uh, I'm going to go behind Anibis, as this is this is the way we're going to play. We're going to cast a spell. We're going to do a Chilling Touch. This should be good on Undead. If Undead, disadvantage on attacking the caster. Yes. There we go. Ooh. More caution next time. I think it's slowed too, is it not? Nope, it is chilled. Oh, it, it couldn't have done anything anyways. So let's end the turn. And Hunter... I could move Hunter all the way up and attack, but we're gonna play this close. And let's see, what's this guy all about? This guy's about... I don't know, not really sure. We're probably gonna kill this ghoul very easily, unless he has friends hiding somewhere. There we go. He's surprised. He's no longer surprised. And I am... Oh. oh. What's that? When I move here, I can see something behind us. Oh! There's something behind us! A zombie! Oh boy. Okay. Well, let's move into this position. And I'm going to shoot this guy. Oh yeah. My guy is uh, very good against undead, so this is like... Hell yeah! Okay, so there we go, and I'm going to move back over here. Okay, and we're going to end turn. And then I'm going to move right here. And I'm going to ready up a melee attack. And here comes something. Oh, here comes the ghoul. Oh, damn. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to do chill and touch on the zombie. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. Zombie. Zombie has chilled. So it's going to go slower, right? I, th I think it's going to be slower too. Okay, so we're done. Oh, here they all come. Okay, so it wasn't just one, one enemy. So Skeleton Archer is trying to attack Ginger. I can impose disadvantage. Yeah, block him. Block the attacking character. Woohoo, you missed. Good job. Okay, 
There's the Overwatch. He's gonna. Oh, he got a You'll get a nice scout. natural crit on 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 you. That sucks. Okay, let's see. Shall we try to? I'm gonna move here. I'm going to attack. Come on. Yeah, there we go. There's a nice hit, Hunter. Okay. Oh, let's action surge again, maybe. Yeah, double crits. The <laughs> making up for the first battle. Okay. There we go. And you know what? We're gonna actually rush the uh, rush that archer then. And then we're gonna have uh, this guy flank. Although there's no real flanking bonus, I think. There we go. Favorite enemy. Heck yeah. And uh, what's what's with that? Okay. And end turn. Round three. Okay, I'm going to move over here. I think I'm still sneaking. Yep, yeah, I'm still sneaking. I'll shoot that archer. Oh, damn. 17. Still kill you. Nice. Victory, survival, success. So our bestiary has has been up, uh, has been uh, increased. Ooh, 20, 28 success. That's crazy. Anything here? Nothing interesting. Okay, let's uh, light up. Let's light up the area a bit. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Nevis, you can you can have a light as well. So everyone has lights on. Okay, so I think, well, let's let's loot first. Uh, we found some arrows, which we'll give to Kinsin. And uh, were there any other enemies around here? No. Okay, so we're going to keep going down this path. But I think, actually, this is a good place to stop. Uh, <clears throat> thank you very much for joining me today. Check out the rest of my channel for other videos on Celasta, video games, board games, and other fun things. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.